Gail, after a great night at Oro Park, congratulations, John. Thanks, Dan. Thanks, for, thanks to you and everybody connected to Club and Thrill. It's, it's, it's for people like yourself and, you know, the players. I'm just thrilled for the players and the staff, the young staff that are here. Great bunch of people. Great lads to be around. Um, and, and it's just great. It's great to be it's great to be around this group. I'm, it's, it's, we're in a special place. Special place. Great game. Great advert for the league. Brilliant game of football. Great way to win it. Yeah, and I think everybody got their money's worth tonight on TV and at, at the ground itself. We're deserving winners. We, we made it nervy near the end, but you know these players deserve great credit. They're a, they're a tremendous bunch of people to be around. Very humble, very hungry, and not only are they winners on the pitch, but they're winners off it as well. That hunger, the, the run of form since those back-to-back -back defeats in April has just been extraordinary to go five months without mm -hmm. losing a game domestically. Well, Dan, I, I, I sat in that dugout and we were a minute away from drawing against Bowles and probably losing against Bowles, and Bowles had a young side out against us, and it was it was. It was hairy, it was nervy, there was a nervousness around the place. We, we, got, a bit of, we got a penalty that night, and we're 28, 29 games now unbeaten since. And little moments like that, I said it at the time, change, can change your season. And it did change your season. We've had a lot of difficulties this year, four surgeries. I've never been in a group that's had four surgeries. We've had a lot of injuries, particularly in the midfield area. But we've knuckled down as a group and as a staff. Stevie O'Donnell as well, who had a great part to play in, in this um, and, and you know when you're good to football it's usually good back to you and that's we're getting the just rewards now brilliant you've touched on what it means for, for the players and delight for everybody else for you personally after you know success back yeah. in 2008 to win the first division title but away from home that night to do it back here at Oral in front of a big crowd and be involved in a Premier Division title what's that feel like it's, it's amazing um, do you know what it's great because I can celebrate with my grandson two grand, grandkids are here tonight I didn't come back the night we won the league in the first division, and it was a, it was because I knew I was a dead man walking, and I didn't get a chance to celebrate with the fans that are here because I have a, a, a rapport with them. But tonight I am going to celebrate it, and I'll be celebrating. It'll be be done tonight. It'll be put to bed by tomorrow, and then we'll come back here on the 29th of October when hopefully we get the the cup, and, and hopefully we might hopefully if we do our business right against Sligo, hopefully get to a cup final. That's that's going to be no easy task going down to Sligo in front of a full house, but hopefully we can go on and and, and create more memories like this tonight. Brilliant, Ness. We'll move on to the cup semi-final later in the week for tonight. Enjoy, John. Congratulations. Thanks, Dan. Thank you very much.